Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel, all is Yitin Shafiri. In this video, you are going to see how to create a custom design system in Jetpack Compose. Let's get started. So here in Jetpack Compose, as you can see, we are using, uh, like we do have a simple screen here in this application. And then what we are using to style this application is via theme. And if you check this theme, what you are using is simply a material theme. And we are providing some colors, typography, shapes, and of course, the content you are passing here. Sometimes the designer of our application provide different design system than the material theme. Sometimes maybe it just changed the colors. For example, if you want to change the colors, you need just to provide different values for different stuff. Primary variant, secondary color, secondary variant. But sometimes we, have, we do have completely different design system. We don't have secondary, for example, you may have two secondary values in which we can use in different ways, for example. We have extra, for example, warning color, success color, error color. I saw a system uh, using that, of course. So the idea is to extend this design into a custom design system. We will see how we can change only server stuff like color or typography. Then we see how we can completely remove this one and replace it with our own. And that's the beauty of Jetpack Compose. You don't have to use only material theme. It is so flexible, but as they say, with more flexibility comes great small responsibility. No, with great power comes great responsibility, something like that. Yeah, so the idea is that they have this flexibility, so we need to implement it carefully, of course. So let's say that you want to extend the already material theme with some new colors, just those new colors. How you can do that? So we need to create what we call an immutable class. We will show an immutable class, but this class will define the colors we have. So we can create a data class. Let's call it, for example, extended colors. This is the usual way we name them. And here I'm going to have only two new colors, which is success color, which will be a color, of course, and another color, which is error color. Why I want to put them as colors here, why I just can't put the hard coded value inside the composables? It's because sometimes, of course, you have to provide a dark theme and a light theme. So having different colors for both of these two will make sense, of course. So here I'm going to have used this one. Right, we need to do something that will help compose immutable. Yeah, this one, which is immutable. Okay, so this will help compose runtime in optimization. So this class is immutable. So it can skip some recompositions, okay? If you see the documentation for here, immutable can be used to mark producing immutable instance. So as you can see here, immutable is, is used by composition, which enable composition optimization that can be performed based on the assumption that values read from the type will not change. Exactly, this is the important thing. So this act as an optimization, of course. Then what we need to do in order to provide these colors, we need to provide the color here. In order to do that, well, here is the idea. But why do you want to put the color here? Because if you go to the application, for example, and you see where we are using this one exactly, we are using material theme that color that's primary. This will be updated whether you are using the dark theme or the red theme according. Okay. So we want to get also the color here, the color of the text, to use what we call error, for example. Or let's pretend I want to change this background yeah, exactly to that success call okay i want to use the success call how we can provide it for the current composition we need to use something called composition lock for that purpose we need to do something like the following we need to provide something called composition local provider this one it has many many things and then it needs some content the content for us it will be this thing okay we can still pass our colors not a problem you can still pass this color but you want to add extra color right you can create your colors here directly. For example, you can use extended colors, for example, and just create your object as usual, extended colors, and then pass different colors. So let's pretend we do have these two colors, extended colors like the following. Now we want to pass these colors so they can be used from here. How to do that? First, we need to provide some values here. The values are bar arc, so you can pass whatever you want. So what we need to pass here is that the composition of these colors, okay? So we need to provide this thing to this one. First, we need to name it, just to give it a name via a builder called static composition local. So we do it like that, we call it local extended colors, and create something called static composition local. And here you pass this color, this class, this is called the initialization color. So you can pass and specify color here. Okay, so it will be initialized using those values. And then you can pass this local extended colors here. But we need to do it by provides a value, which is this one. So the value of this thing will be this value. Right now, this values, like this extended colors, 
is in our composition locker. So we can get our composition local and get this class. How we can do that, of course, we need to create also an extra class. This class will act as the material theme because how we are doing it, how we are accessing the call. We are using a custom object class called material theme. So here we need to create our own class object, for example, and let's call it custom theme. And here, this custom theme will be used to get the cops. So what we create, we create a colors like that. And the type of, of these colors will be extended colors, of course. But how do we get the value? Of course, we are going to implement it via get, like that. And this will be a composable. So the value will come from the local extended colors, this one, and we'll check the current one, okay? So what will happen? Let me just do it one more time. Okay, so this is the thing. So at the end of the day, what you are going to do, you are going to put custom theme right here. And inside that custom theme, you are going to check the colors. And with this color, we get the value through this thing, through the current one, which is implemented via the composition local provider. Okay, so the value of the success color will be this value. Of course, this value, this green, how we got it there, it's because the combination of this composition local provider and also the static composition local of, and also this custom object that we need to change. Right now, if you are in a dark theme, the color success will be changed automatically if you change it here. So if you do just simple if and else, you provide different extended colors based on the if and else, of course, you can provide different values so this doesn't have to change. If you run this right now, so we are changing the icon button modifier. So we expect to see the change here. We will see this changing. Exactly as you can see, it's green. Why it is working? Because this thing, this thing composable, is part of the product card, which is part of the lazy column in this main screen, which is part of the app theme. If you remove that app theme for a minute and replace it with, for example, material theme, yeah, material theme, this one, and we don't provide anything and we provide our main. Guess what will happen? We won't have anything because it couldn't find this value. Because when this will be executed, custom color theme, what is happening at the third, we are trying to get the colors. But getting the colors is part of the current composition. And in the current composition local, we don't have any local extended color. The local extended color as part of this app theme. That's why it's not working. Okay, so I think you got the idea. So this is how you can extend anything you want. For example, you want to change the typography, simply create your custom typography, for example. You create the fonts, the sizes, the text size, I don't know, it's up to you, of course. And then you need to provide local, just name it whatever you want. Huh? You need to name it, for example, local extended typography, provide default values for that, and then implement the real values here and provide real values here, and then provide them to this composition local provider. This is a var arc, you can pass whatever you want. All right, and this one just just simple build of function that will help us create provided value, of course, of uh, this value and can override. Of course, it's a simple thing. So this is how you can extend the material theme with something else. Like we still have our colors here, but you are extending it with different things. Now, let's say you want completely to change the design system. Let's say you want to, for example, have your own typography, your own shapes, your own, of course, content, of course, and your own colors. Simply, you need to provide all of those here, right? So you won't have any material theme here. So well, let's create the values first. So we need the colors, of course, and we need some typography, of course. So let me just get typography from here. I'm using the custom typography of the design theme of the documentation. So it is just a simple thing. Here you can provide your own custom typography. For example, here we are providing just the body and the title, but you can provide anything to provide. For example, in your custom design, you can have H1, H2, I don't know, some specific things, and even some specific font and style like that. And how you provide this custom typography is just the same. So here we provide, for example, this local typography, we create the typography, and then we can create the text style. This is just for the, like for the initial value. And then we create the custom one, like the following, and you can, like add many things, I can add the font style, the color, the weight, like whatever you want, the font, for example. And then you need just to provide this thing also here. So you do local typography provides what? This thing, custom typography. Okay, yeah, it's not content actually. So the content can be at the end of the thing. So we completely deleted the material theme. So we don't have the color. Of course, you have to provide all of your colors here. It's not, we are not extending. We are completely replacing the design system. So you need to provide all the colors from there. And of course, you need to have some logic in order to provide your colors. Of course, the 
dart team and the other team but we need also to provide a way to get this thing for example we created local typo we need to create a way to get those values so it will be just the exact same thing which is typography and you use custom typography and in order to get those we need to get it from the current composition local provided by so it will be that and the current okay so how do you access that you simply you can access that here but custom theme color thing so let me tell you something about what we did of course sometimes you are using material components for example you can use a button right you can use a button the button is material theme of course and this button provides many things like it, it does have many values predefined for example the colors the button colors you can get them from button defaults and then you can provide button colors guess what you have many many colors predefined for you for example the background color the content color and the disabled background color and many other stuff if you do the fair function you're going to see all of those colors okay you need to provide the value of all of these colors because if you don't do so like the documentation says like unwanted things won't have will happen because we are not using material theme and that's the issue you need to provide the colors the specific colors for everything because you completely change the design system still the button is flexible with you you can update the values but this is the cost like as you said this is the responsibility you get you need to pass and enable every color every typography every shape everything right so this is how you can extend or completely replace the design system from this material theme to any custom design system you have all right so just be aware of that and as i said you can access everything for example you can have this custom theme dot typography dot for example the body and this would be applied as the body that simple that's beauty of course and so you can implement whatever you want, whatever styles you have. So the application will look fresh and consistent of your design theme. So this is how Jetpack Compose allows the flexibility to do something great like that. Okay, that's basically it. So as a recap, if you want to extend some colors, some typos, some anything, you need to do that anyway. Provide this as local custom colors via static composition local of. So we can access it from the composition. That's the goal of it. So yeah, I think you got the idea. So this would provide a composition local for the current composable tree. So you can get some specific values. For example, here in this composition, we are getting the typography and we are getting, for example, also the color. Okay, that's the goal here. You need to create static composition local of with default values. And then you replace them during the runtime with this app team or whatever team you are implementing. Yeah, of course, yeah, you need to have some custom class for that. So this will have, of course, just annotate them, as I said, with immutable to have the compose runtime, do some optimization to skip some recompositions, of course. That's basically all you need in order to extend and replace the color design system by whatever you want. Thank you very much for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.